back to my channel. Welcome back to Bob's with Tiara. So y'all today is August 15th. And yes, I am going to do another hair video. This is with locks, y'all. I ha I enjoy doing locks. Probably more than I enjoy doing my wigs. But I do enjoy wigs because wigs, I can be very creative and things like that. But with my locks, I can be creative. But for some reason, I love locks. But yes, before I get into all of that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you post bell notifications since on so every time I post, you are notified. Make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. It's listed in the description box below. I think that's her pulling up. Um, Yeah, so let's make this real quick. I'm about to do some locks for my client. This will be her second time coming. She found me on one of my social medias. I think she found me on Facebook. She's one of my Facebook clients that found me. But yes, um... I just wanted to come and say hey and do an intro before I just got started on her head. I'm going to get her in here. I'm going to feel around her hair, see how everything is going. I'm looking this way because the window's this way and I can see her. I see a car pulling up and I know that's probably her. But yeah, see how her hair is doing. A little small talk. We're going to give her a wash. Then we're going to get started. I'm pretty sure she's going to get a style. Don't know what style it is. Um, I think last time she made me come up with a style, which is just like a updo ponytail. I don't remember if anything was hanging, but I do remember it was a ponytail. But if you can hear that, it was a doorbell. I gotta go. I'll see y'all when I um yeah when my client gets in here. What you been up to? Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. Just working out, working, and taking care of my grandson. Oh. Well, being his best yeah. friend, we bestest friends. <laughs> y'all all best friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I did bring, I had some that were kind of weak. Okay. So. Do you know what yeah, area I'm, it in was the in? the front right here, because you'll see. And then that one that okay, we didn't never connected it, you started it. How many do you have in your hand? Three. Three? Uh, okay. And it's one that you, you put right here when you put it up mm -hmm. last time. And then I know they come from right here in the front. The other two. And this just probably broke off one that was at the end. But I don't like, I moisturize her, I spray her twice a day, and I oil with her. more than just, okay, you just oil. Plain, yeah, I put, um, in the morning time, I have like a bottle with some oil in it. Mm -hmm. And I spray her every morning a lot. And then sometimes maybe like one or two o'clock, because I get up at four, so. Okay. One or two o'clock, I feel like, oh my, my hair feels dry. Like, oh, is it just me and my hands? So I just, a little plain water because I have just a plain water bottle and I spray with that and then at night before I go to bed I have I take a shower so I have my hair up so it's getting wet because it's in a messy bun and ain't a tight bun it's just up in a bun and I just got these little rubber band things so I thought maybe they were better for my hair but I try not to have it up too much because they say you you know it did so good because you left it up, you had it put up, but I couldn't get in there to scratch like I wanted to. Yeah. But as long as you do try to moisturize it, you might need a cylinder moisture with like a shea butter or something like that. I just after bought like you a, um, wet almond it. from some type of thicker, something thicker than an oil that's gonna, yeah. once you spray it, you put the oil on there and then the cream will lock it in to keep it. You know, because sometimes that oil just rubs out or it just evaporates and things like that. Yeah. So you may need something quicker. I mean, not quicker, but thicker than a um, than just oil and water. Especially for the ends because that's the oldest part of your hair. So I bought this. That's just the oil, my oil. Oh, yeah, I use their oils and, and shampoos and stuff. And this one. I bought this one too. Okay, so I would just tell you to like get some shea butter. Um, you can get that from a beauty supply store mm -hmm. or health food store. And just once you do all of that, wet it or put your moisturizer on there, your oil, you put your shea butter on top. Because that's a little thicker and that's going to seal in that moisture and keep it, you know, feeling dry. Okay, so I know it'll probably be like after you do it and, and so... Will I do it that next day or a couple of days later? It'll like be as needed as you feel it. 
um you can moisturize it as you feel it because you can feel that it is yeah, kind of dry at the moment but yeah you can feel it so you'll do it as needed depending on your hair this is only my my second time doing your hair and i don't really know how your hair is when you get home after you know a day or two so right. i can't really tell you but you'll be able well, to, to the feel whole it month that it was up i made sure that it was it was moisture it was good okay i took it down it was still good because i still had a couple where you had doubled up mm -hmm. which you know helped out a lot and i was like you know it stayed and i had like a band i put around here and it stayed good for another couple of weeks and then i guess sweat 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 of sweat. course it's when you work out things yeah. like that mm -hmm. so but yeah, I would recommend getting something thicker. Like so a, thicker than this, so Shea Butter. Do you have like a name brand that I could? No, no particular no. name brand. Just some some raw organic Shea Butter. Shea no butter. type of like Fragrance. fragrances or nothing in there. Just, gotcha. just plain old Shea Butter. And if you have a beauty supply store, you may can get it. Yeah, I want to say it's cheaper. Yeah, something like oh, that. I have. Right I think here. I have that as well. But I think I got mine from a beauty supply store. But this one right, there right well. over there by the Walmart. On but that'll be that probably about that same price that you see on Amazon. So it wouldn't matter if you just want to get it shipped to you. And the shea butter may be white at first when you put it in there, but it's going to evaporate. It's, it, okay. it's just going to absorb. It so no panic like... <laughs> when you see it white in your head when you wake up or as you go on through the day, it definitely disappears. Okay. I'm going to put this in my cart. So I might want to yeah. eight ounces. But everything else that you was doing is perfectly fine and good. You just need something to seal that in. So, okay, what about at night? I put a bonnet on. I've read yes. that you're not supposed to put a bonnet on. You're supposed to put, like... I have like one of them old silk scarves that I tie around like No, here. silk scarf is better, but a bonnet like for your loose, if depending on how your hair is, if you just have it like up in a ponytail or something like that. I try at night not to have it up because I work out and I mm -hmm. have it up for an hour and then I when I work. I have my headset, so I need it out of the way, so I have it in a... So, like, all bonnets are not silk, so if you get it to is. a silk bonnet, it then is. you'll be perfectly fine okay. with wearing your bonnet. Because you don't want it, you know, once you put the oils on there, if you lay on your pillow or lay on the couch you or something, it's going it to come out. So, that'll keep it in there if you do, you know, a silk bonnet. It'll be better. I just bought me a silk bonnet, a nice one. My God, I paid $10 for your bonnet. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, it's a good one. So how about hydration? But if I use the shea butter, I don't need hydrating lotion, so never mind. No, because you just, we just need that. your water, your oils, and then your shea butter will go on top. And then once you come back and you tell me how that is and if you say that it's working, then I can tell you, you know, something else that you might can do if that doesn't work for you. Gotcha. It'll work. So y'all, when my clients first come in, I like to talk with them, ask them how their day was, just do a little bit of catching up. I also like to ask questions about their hair. If I haven't seen them in a long time, I ask them about any of their hair concerns or any hair needs that they want me to to address i also like to go through their hair and just check everything out just to see if there's anything that i need to ask my clients before i even get started with doing anything to their hair and then i like to go in and give them a good old scalp cleanse wash and condition their hair for this particular client, I used some of my rose water and oil mixture, and then I went in on top of that with some shea butter. I like to work in all of those products, especially on the ends of her hair, and also give her a good old scalp massage as I'm working these products in. So you guys, this is one of my fairly new clients. This is only her second time coming to sit in my chair. 
because the first time when she came she did express to me that she did have some locks that had came out in the front but she did not remember to bring the locks with her so this time when she came back she said that she did remember to bring the locks with her so now we are going to reattach those locks and she did say it was only three that she had found that had came out so we are going to use these dreadlock crochet hook tools to reattach her locks in this pack it comes with one with one hook the other has two and the, the third has three hooks on it due to her locks being on the smaller and thinner size we are going to use that one lock hook that has one needle attached to it so at the moment what i like to do because they are small i like to section off the hair figure out where i'm going to attach the lock and then i like to split that lock in two and then what i like to do is hold the lock in my left hand while holding one of the strands that i did split in half while i'm holding the strand one strand and the lock in my left hand i like to use the strand that's in my right hand and i'm going to wrap that hair around the strand and the lock that i am going to reattach once i finish twisting it as far down as that hair will go i'll take the hook that has one needle on there and i like to go in and out the middle of the lock if possible and i'm going to twist the needle as i'm going in and out of that lock so what i did notice as i was trying to go in out of the lock i was noticing that it was a little bit too thin and it wasn't holding on and locking in the way that I wanted it to. So what I actually started doing, I started going down in a downward motion with the crochet needle inside of the lock at an angle. And I was actually twisting the lock. Instead of twisting the crochet needle, I twist the lock in my hand back and forth as I pulled the crochet hook in and out of the middle of the lock. And it started to attach that hair and the lock back together and yes i am going to continue this same process to complete the other two locks that i am going to reattach and once i reattach all three of her locks i am going to give them a pull and if i feel or see anything that i don't like with any of the locks that i did reattach i'm going to go back in and i'm going to go and do the same method just to make sure and assure that they are in their good so when she does pull them up in a ponytail or we do any styling they will not come out And as I was double checking to make sure each of the locks was attached to my liking, I did notice it was one lock right beside it that was hanging on. And I knew if I didn't go ahead and reattach that one properly, it was not going to last to her next appointment. So I did go ahead and reattach that one and make it look good just like the others. so now that we have reattached all the locks 
Now I am going to go ahead and start her retwist. I like to put the hair up in a ponytail, not a tight ponytail because we don't want to pull on the hair, but in a loose ponytail just so that the hair can be out the way as I'm retwisting. And I do like to start in the very back and work my way to the front. So y'all, my go-to method of retwist is palm rolling. So what I would do is just take the lock and I will palm roll that lock in my hand and it will retwist at the root and I will clip it and continue to go. So for this particular client, what I do is I'm gonna work in the product all over that part where she does have new growth. I am going to start off with a coil at the root and then I am going to palm roll. And I am gonna palm roll so that the frizz that is happening at the root of her hair is no longer there. So what I like to do is roll that lock in my palm and once I get to the tips of my finger, I am going to twist it as well. And as I repeatedly do that, it is going to help get rid of that frizz that is happening at the roots. And I'm going to continue this same method throughout her head. I did not start these locks, so I don't know as far as how her parts and everything was. But I tried to do her parts as clean as possible from what I can see and make out how they were. So yeah, what I go in and do is apply the product to that entire section. Comb that product through her hair where the new growth is. I may go in with a coil at the root. If not, I'll go ahead and take that lock and I palm roll it in my hand and clip it and go on to the next section. And as I am retwisting her hair, I do like to go in with my spray bottle and moisten that area as needed. I don't like to retwist on dry hair, so I do add a little bit of water to the areas if I do feel like it is dry. And yes, y'all, continue to watch me as I continue to retwist her hair, making my way up to the top. So this is what it looks like from the top once I finish retwisting everything. 
I asked her if she wanted a style today and she said she wanted something simple. She wanted something with a little bit of twist in the front and the back hanging so that it wouldn't be in her face while she was working out. So we are going to go ahead and give her a few little barrel twist in the front and we're going to leave the back hanging so to achieve my barrel rolls or twist i like to take the two locks in the front in the area that i am going to do the barrel rolls or twist in and i'm going to twist those down first and then once i twist those down for a little bit just to get the base of the barrel roll i am going to take a lock from the left and the right and i am going to twist it around that twist that i did start at the front once i get the barrel roll to the length of my desire i do go ahead and rubber band it with two rubber bands and I'll move on to the next and I'll do the exact same thing to the next barrel twist. So y'all once we finished styling the front with her barrel twist we did sit her up under the dryer for a little bit and y'all y'all look y'all it came out so nice it looks so much better it's neat it's clean we did get her locks reattached on the side we did leave it out in the back like she asked and i'm gonna go ahead and show you how it looks from the back like that y'all it looks so much better she is all smiles as usual she loved her hair so y'all if you made it to the end of this video please make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure your post bell notifications is on so every time that i do post you are notified make sure you are following me on all of my social medias and as always thank you for watching